but you also have the support of people like Bill Gates and Carlos Slim. What would you say you have learned from them about transformational leadership? I, I gotta say, uh, uh, this, this journey at Khan Academy, once it started to, to get going, we've been very fortunate uh, to have folks that frankly growing up were my heroes. Uh, some of them came out of the woodwork and, and support or give advice or even act as a mentor. And I, I think the most powerful thing I've learned from almost all of them is they, even though the, the external perception is that these are titans of industry, et cetera, et cetera, they tend to lead with humility. And they, they tend to um, not assume that they know everything. Uh, they, they, but at the same time, they, they will use their positions to challenge folks to think bigger, to, to challenge folks to, to like, what, why aren't you, you know, and there's some of them have told me like, hey, Sal, it's fine you're reaching X million this month, but look at the world. There's X billion. That's not good enough. And it's, you know, and I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm like, well, but a million is pretty good. Like, why, sh <laughs> why should, you know, why, why? Yeah. But they're right. And, you know, but you go home and you realize that, yeah, they're, they're right. Like, why am I giving up, at, at, not giving up, but why am I not putting pressure on me or the organization to get to billions, even though it sounds a little delusional right now. If you don't think that way, it's never going to happen.